I thought at our age, life would slow down. Not with everything we need to coordinate. My overtime, his basketball league. My podiatrist and her PT. His colonoscopy. Her allergist. We need to be in two places at once, which is no problem, because the Iowa Clinic has over 40 specialties all in one place. So when our doctors want to coordinate our care, they just talk to each other. Our doctors work together to figure out the best care for us, so we can go back to our busy lives of juggling our doctors, our careers. Our grandchild. Care how you want it. Visit iowaclinic.com. All right, let's get after it. Pre-game, Iowa State at Oklahoma here on the Cyclone Fanatics social media feeds. My name is Chris Williams. The Cyclones are 20-point underdogs this weekend at Oklahoma, but this has generally been a really good spot for Iowa State. We'll see how it goes. I, of course, have five things that I'll be watching for, five, eh, not necessarily keys to victory, but I, I think interesting points going into this game. We'll start with number five. I think that Iowa State needs to put pressure on Dylan Gabriel, the quarterback from Oklahoma. He's been super efficient so far this year. Veteran guy. He's seen all the coverages. He's seen everything at this level. But Iowa State has not been getting pressure with three this year. That's a big difference with this defense compared to last. How does John Haycock attack this early on in the football game? Usually a conservative Haycock in the first quarter, and you see him get more aggressive as the game goes on. Does he choose to play that way here? We'll have to find out, but regardless of what the professor chooses to do, they got to make his life a little bit uncomfortable. He can't, you cannot let him Dylan Gabriel completing 78% of his passes so far this year. Just sit back there and pick you apart. Number four, you're going to have to play a clean football game. If you're going to have a chance to win this one, it cannot be one littered with turnovers and missed field goals and blocked punts or anything like that. It's got to be clean football. For the most part, you saw Iowa State do that last week against Oklahoma State. Clean football. If you got a punt, you got a punt. But no giving the ball to that Oklahoma offense on a short field. I think Iowa State is trending in the direction to be able to do this. They've cleaned up the special teams for the most part this year, which you really, really like to see. I think a fast start is critical for Iowa State. We'll go there with number three. Again, you know, this is a deal. Night game in Norman, those things are intense. Been there, and we've all seen that over the years as Iowa Staters. But I think it goes farther than that. Just not, Not just that Oklahoma crowd. Right now, Iowa State's feeling pretty good about itself after this last week, right? Scored some points. We all believe John Haycock will get the defense figured out. Man, Go on the road, score in that first drive, and let's see what the hell happens. Fast start. Do not allow the negative thoughts to enter your mind early on in this football game. Number two, stay cool because there is a chance, there is a chance that this happens, right? There is a chance that you get down 14 to nothing. I believe... The um, Kyle Kemp year in 2017, they got down in that football game. You got to stay cool. You got to be able to. This is where I'm. I'm a little concerned with this Iowa State team because it's so young. We think they're a talented team, but it's a young football team that's never really been in a atmosphere like this. Some of these guys did last year in Kinnick Stadium, you know, so they have got some of that experience. But not Rocco Beck, not a lot of the guys that are out there on offense. So if you get down two scores early, don't freak out. Stay cool, Cyclones. Number one is the Air Raid Baby. Let it fly. Oklahoma's got one of the top rush defenses in the country. They've only given up three touchdowns in four games. Really good rush defense. I don't think Iowa State's going to be able to run the football. I, I think your one chance to really potentially win this game is by airing it out. And a lot of that game plan that we saw in quarters three through or two through four last weekend against Oklahoma State. I think Matt Campbell needs to trust Rocco back, trust those playmakers to go out there, and as he said, I believe, after the game, they've earned the right to go out and play football that way. I think that's going to be a necessity because, again, I just don't think Iowa State's going to be able to grind out yards on the ground. All in all, I think Iowa State keeps this a game. I will pick Oklahoma to win it 27-14. to You know, The one thing I do like about this for Iowa State is – uh, John Haycock's got that defense's attention. I bet they had a really good week. I don't think Oklahoma goes up there and scores in the 40s or anything like that. And I'm banking that Iowa State has a little bit of momentum on that offense and they can keep on improving. Even 14 points against this defense could be an improvement depending on 
you know, how it plays out. Don't get blown out. Build momentum for the rest of the year. That's my goal. 27-14 is the pick. Oklahoma over Iowa State. We'll be back with all of our social media programming on Saturday, halftime, postgame, all that good stuff. Matt Van Winkle producing today's show. My name is Chris Williams. We're presented, as always, by the Iowa Clinic. Thank you so much for watching.